everyone what's up and welcome back to my channel shade tv my name is marissa hill if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this review a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it and as always i love hearing from you guys so don't forget to leave me comments and questions at the end of this video and as always i like to remind you don't forget to hit that notification bell as we do have some amazing up and coming videos this week for all of you so today as you can see we've got two shoes in front of me we have another other than the 327 concepts collab with new balance known as the cape as well as the undyed 327s that were just a new balance take on this specific silhouette so first we're going to go through the overview of these two shoes and compare the two then i'm going to pull out another one of my favorite 327s which was a collab done with casablanca new balance and then we're going to talk about the new upcoming casablanca new balance collab shoes this week which happen to have some themes with dalmatians which is pretty exciting and then we're going to get into the styling and how i styled these two silhouettes uh quite similarly and differently at the same time and then we're going to conclude with some resell and talk about what these two shoes retail at. So let's hop into the overview of both these shoes. First, we're gonna start with the 327 Cape. And you're probably wondering, why is this called the Cape? Cape Cod ring a bell, anybody? Cape Cod, Massachusetts? So interestingly enough, both Concepts and New Balance have roots that tie into Massachusetts, which is both where the companies are and where they started. So Concept, of course, has a store in New York now, which is pretty exciting, so I can go and shop there. But if you are unfamiliar with the Concept stores in Massachusetts, it's amazing. It looks like a cave. So definitely go on a road trip, check out the Concept store. It's dope. So I'm so excited to do an overview of the shoe because I think the 327 is one of the most overlooked silhouette this year. I have been obsessed with it ever since I saw it released in the Casablanca colorway. And so now I'm going to do this overview on the Cape. So Cape Cod, as most of us know, you think cranberries. I know I think about cranberries and I think of Ocean Spray. And Ocean Spray back in 1946 decided to create a cocktail using their cranberry juice. And so that was basically to help sales go up. And it was known as the Cape Cotter cocktail, or most of us know it as just a cranberry vodka. So they basically took that whole theme of the cranberry cocktail concepts did to create this specific coloring. And so if you think about like a cranberry and vodka cocktail, right, it's actually supposed to kind of give off what a drink would resemble if it was watered down from the top to the bottom, which is quite interesting, right? Because that kind of makes sense when you look at the coloring scheme of this shoe. So it gets darker as it flows to the bottom of the cup and it's a lighter coloring at the top where the ice kind of melts down and dilutes it to a lighter red. And so that's where I'm gonna go through and show you these darker, you know, versions of this cranberry red and it's very soft this suede. I mean, New Balance does it so amazingly when they, you know, put just quality suede on their shoes. Uh, then we've got, you know, just kind of this lighter shade of red in the front of the toe here. So on that toe box, we've got just a nice kind of red underlay there, which then kind of goes down and fades to a darker shade. So literally like this is the drink. If I was holding a cup, right? That's what a cranberry vodka drink would look like from light to dark. So it fades into that darker shade as we get to the back. And then the New Balance N that's massive, which is one of the parts that I love about this shoe, has kind of that ambient coloring scheme where it goes from light to dark as well, which is really cool. And then we have just this bright kind of lime green on the bottom of the white midsole. And the green is for the lime. So most cranberry and vodka sodas are garnished with a lime. So it would make sense, right, to have that garnishing colorway on the bottom of that midsole there. And then we've got this 
breezy kind of blue transparent coloring system going from that heel all the way down to the outsole to cover it. And I just love it because it just resembles water and that to me looks like water. So they really nailed it on the dot with the coloring system there. It's just kind of a beautiful blue. And then we've got, you know, that light, light blue going on here in the collar and underneath the tongue, as well as it goes down the top of the tongue. We've got that double logo concept, New Balance going on there. And then we've also got the New Balance here. Of course, we've got the 327, the intelligent choice on the inside of the shoe there. The insole says concepts, and that's just in a darker blue shade for the insole portion. But I just love these linings and the throat accents here. They really did a good job with this blue. It's beautiful, giving dashes of bright colors in and out. And this is definitely themed off a very summery, vibrant shoe because a lot of people, as you may know, they go to Cape Cod for the summertime. And so they really wanted to give this a very refreshing and summery vibe. And I think that like all aspects of the shoe really proves to show just that. So the end logo is made of TPU and boost basically, like I said, this gradient look. It's probably my favorite part about the shoe is the gradients throughout the shoe on both the medial and lateral side. It's just so cool looking. Oh, wow, wow, wow. They just did a great job. Then we've got the trim Eva foam midsole here. So it's very squishy, very, very squishy. All right, guys, let's move on to the next one, shall we? So here we have the undyed New Balance eco-friendly sneaker. It even comes with this lovely undyed, no added color, means less water, energy, and waste. Good to know. I'm assuming this has been recycled as well. One of my favorite parts of the shoe I actually would like to start with is just the insole. It's made of cork. How cool is that cork system? I haven't seen an insole like that before. I'm pretty much obsessed with it. I absolutely love this coloring scheme. It's so different from the Cape colorway. It's just very neutral in color tone. It looks like this is celebrating materials and their natural color and highlighting the importance of creating a more sustainable future. So as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of shoes that have to do with sustainability and it seems like New Balance is definitely jumping on that bandwagon and joining in on that, you know, really saving the environment, recycling kind of mode. And they did just that with this. So it's like, I, it reminds me of the space hippies in a sense where, you know, they're all about being sustainable and recycling materials, well, they're jumping in by just not using any dyes on their shoe. So of course, there's a lot of dyes going on on this one, but this one is definitely a different feel. So the upper comes with a beige cotton canvas construction, which is very nice, it's very summery, having just canvas, you know, on your shoes, which is quite nice. And it's combined with this beautiful, just blue, light blue suede overlays. And it's also on that large N as well. Oh, suede is so soft on New Balance shoes. Can't take it. <laughs> and so there's a white, basically just a simple white midsole that we're seeing here that completes the undyed color arrangement. And this is just, Wow, I'm gonna be able to wear this basically with everything and anything. Got that gum bottom coloring scheme here on the outsole, which is just super nice. I mean, undyed and all natural is really what is shouting out to me when I see this shoe. And we've got just the simple nice cream laces to match and that simplistic just canvas colorway, which is quite nice. And of course, like they said, by doing this, by not using actual dyes, they're saving water, energy, and waste, of course. So definitely on that sustainable train. All right, so now I'm gonna jump quickly into my favorite of the 327s, which is the Casablanca 327 collab. I know that you guys probably see my video. If not, jump back, go and watch that. It's a good one, but I wanna bring those out. And I wanna talk a little bit about the two colors that are gonna be launching this week, I'm so stoked and hopefully we'll be able to cop 
For those of you who tried to get these shoes, they were not easy. They were not easy whatsoever. I mean, I kept on trying for restocks. I mean, even since I purchased items on the actual Casablanca site, they allowed you know previous users to be able to try and play for a pair and still lost. I mean, it was just a very hard shoe that they took multiple L's on until I was able to cop it, but they're actually creating two new colorways that are coming out and it's basically themed after Dalmatians. So I'm extremely excited to either cop either color. I mean, I'm more for the black and white scheme just because that's more, in my opinion, based off of Dalmatian, but they do have a secondary option, which is like a green and white colorway. Uh, but fingers crossed I'm able to get one of those and I can do a review on it because as you guys know I'm definitely falling hard for this 327 silhouette. I think for the price point in general it's just such a great deal which is what we will discuss at the end more in depth. But now that we've kind of gone through all the different coloring schemes I want to talk about styling. So let's jump into styling go through the looks I chose for both these shoes. I did two looks for each. We're going to start with the cape colorway. So this is a very just summertime coloring scheme. So I really wanted to bring out some nice summery type of clothing options. The first one that I chose was a dress from Reformation and it's just got this bright pop of green and it's very flowy and it just kind of reminds me of Cape Cod in general. Like if I was to go visit there, I feel like this is definitely a dress that I would want to wear. And since there's that lime green on the bottom of that midsole, I just kind of wanted to bring some green color schemes into it. And it's a very florally print. Definitely don't have anything in my wardrobe that symbolizes cranberries or else I would have worn a cranberry dress for you guys. Sorry about that. Don't have one. Uh, but definitely loved wearing this flowy dress because I think it really just vibed with the theme of this shoe. And then for the second look, I just chose some simple light denim jeans that are kind of cropped. And I paired that with uh, an Other Stories top. And it's just a bright red top. I love the coloring scheme with this. And I just really wanted to bring another kind of red highlight to it in my outfit to kind of see how the colors played off each other. And because there's like this ambient kind of gradient color scheme on here, I feel like you can rock whatever kind of red you want because it really just shows maybe four or five different types of versions of a red color scheme on this shoe. So that's why I went with that second look. All right, let's talk about the undyed now. So the undyed was definitely a little bit easier in my opinion to match. So for one of the looks, I actually used a Casablanca outfit, which is this kind of, you know, very summery top. Because there's canvas on this, I just feel like it's a very refreshing type of shoe. And that's why I went with that Casablanca shirt. Sure, it's got kind of like volcano mountain theme to it and it's got lots of bright vibrant colors so there's pinks and blues and yellows and greens on there. I feel like since this shoe is just so subtle in color I was able to bring more bright colors to kind of wear in that first look and I just wore that with some baggier oversized boy jeans.
And then for the second look, I chose more of a subtle kind of colorway that was a bit more neutral, kind of more matchy-matchy with the canvas tone. It's just a button-down Zara canvas shirt, a little oversized with, again, some light denim cut jeans, and I feel like these shoes just go well with denim. This light blue almost replicates a denim -y light color. And so I definitely think that, you know, whatever type of denim you do try to pair this with, it's gonna go quite nicely just because of its natural coloring scheme that it has. Alright guys, so those are the four overall looks. Let me know which shoe you prefer. Even if you like the Casablancas, also let me know if you guys are going to be playing for those Casablancas later on in the week. Uh, and also let me know what your favorite outfit is. So now let's conclude with the resale on the two shoes. Let's talk about how much they both sold for. So this specific silhouette for the Undyed went for $100. I think it's just a killer price point for most of the 327 silhouettes. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit more pricey if it's a collab, but a hundred bucks for this shoe. I mean, you are literally spending nothing for just such a high quality braid shoe. I'm not gonna lie guys, like this is just a great constructed shoe. You're definitely not wasting your money. And also I feel like this silhouette, typically even if it's not a collab or a special shoe launching, this silhouette always sells out. It's insane. Like this is definitely not a shoe to sleep on. And so currently this shoe is reselling, um, oh yeah, just so you guys know, women's sizing. So I was a size nine in this and a 7.5 in this because this the uh, capes were men's sizing and the undyed was only women's sizing. So currently for the women's on the lower end of size 5.5, it's going for a high price point of 320. A size 8.5 is going for 139 and then a 10.5 in women is going for 300. So depending on sizing, they're actually holding a lot of extra value on the resale market. So that just goes to show, even if it's not a collab, this shoe still can be, you know, a great shoe for resellers out there. Uh, a little high, higher on the price point if you are a larger size and you're a guy trying to cop this, $300 is, you know, it's a couple multiplications on top of that retail value of $100. Uh, all right, so now let's move on to the concepts, which I was a 7.5 in. And again, this is men's sizing versus women's sizing. So the cape retailed at $140, so a little bit more. Obviously, it was going to be a little bit pricier based upon the fact that this is a concept collab and it's not just New Balance. As far as the pricing goes, so a size six is going for $188 and a size 4.5 is 100 dollars on the larger sizing end, a size 14 is going for $399 and a size 10 is $169. So I don't know, depending on the size, it sounds like the bigger sizes are definitely doing a little bit better. Uh, but you know, there's still a little bit of extra value on the reseller end there. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in again to this lovely review on both these shoes. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you're new to my channel, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it, as well as leaving any comments or questions that you guys have on this as far as sizing goes, what colors you like the most. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, guys, because we have so much heat coming out for you and I definitely don't want you to miss out on it. So until next time, my name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will see you on the next video.